conference for the Nations Netball Cup has just ended. I have here with me Coney Francis, Jamaican coach, and I have Janelle Fowler. She's the captain for Jamaica. I'll start with you, uh, Connie Francis. In terms of preparing for this uh, tournament, how much effort have you put and um, how long have you taken to prepare? Well, um, I'm in my third month um, with the squad. We had a squad of 27 players. Um, and it, then it grew to 33 because um, we have a lot of talented youngsters back home. And uh, so the preparation was of intense. It's about getting our girls ready for the process. We know it, it, was, it is going to be a, t a tough challenge because we are going up against some fantastic team. So although we cut it in stages where we have trials and we cut our team and we have seen the growth and, and the dynamics, especially with our senior players coming in that really help us um, I'm still expecting great things from our girls I think that they are ready I think that they have they have dealt with the pressure of the preparation with their fitness coach and, and, and myself and also they have learned um, and the way uh, the more I'm impressed with these girls is the way well I could say that the way they gel with our senior players they, they especially the younger ones uh, it's a learning process for them and they're just anxious so the final cut uh, it was difficult especially to bring in those five new players uh, but i think that they are more than capable of, of withstanding the pressure here okay janelle you are the captain for jamaica you played at the world cup you have a lot of experience you are also the goal shooter and i believe you are good at that so in terms of uh bonding with the new players um what is happening to the jamaican team are you getting on well are you um to be honest i'm very happy with the camaraderie in the camp um the girls have been slotting in really well that's the new girls of course um and the older girls have been making it much very easy for them to feel comfortable to feel um welcomed into the squad so yeah it's pretty easy for them to just go out there and play because you don't have to worry about anything else um, or not being accepted into the squad or not being um, gelling with each other so it's been really good having the new players in and their hunger to learn and to play has been good okay you personally have you changed your game plan for this competition um, I have learned a lot from World Cup you know and personally I think I have grown I've learned um, I've, I knew what I did wrong, and I know what I can do better. And with um, our coach Connie Francis, she had um, imparted a lot of you know knowledge on me. Um, she has um, helped me to recognize my strength and how to play to it. So that's really good. So I'm really excited and to bring that out there on court. Okay, Connie, you were a player yourself, and I believe you played in five World Cup games. So when you look at the players. Um, getting ready for this Nations Cup. How much pressure do you have yourself? Because I do know that um, when people are playing football and uh, fans are watching, they almost like kicking as well. So <laughs> when you see the players making mistakes, do you actually feel like doing it yourself since you've been a player? I'm very animated. I think I'm the most animated coach of the four nation that's here right now because um, my coaching style is like I get myself involved. I'm involved in whatever they're doing. Um, I see myself also not as a player, but as a learner. And I've, you know, I've learned from these girls. Um, we have have had our hops and downs, yes. But I think that as a coach, I've, I'm still in learning process, especially with, with experienced players, not so much as the new ones. Um, so yeah, I think I am really into it more than any other coach. 
Okay, Jamel, you will have more than 5,000, more than 7,000 people watching you from the arena. And I believe a lot of Jamaicans have bought tickets. They will be out there. What's your message to them and what are you expecting from them? Um, my message to them is just to come out, support, shout, us, shout for us, um, cheer us on. And as for ourselves and how we will go out there and play, we will make um, our country men and women proud. Okay, Connie, tomorrow will be the first game. Yes. How prepared are you for the first game? And what are your messages to the fans, to the players, everybody? I was saying to the girls this morning after practice, you know, they was like, Coach, are you okay? I said, I'm at peace. Whenever I'm at peace, that means that we are in a good position. Um, for our fans back home, I know that it, it has been, you know, our netball has been up and down, especially on the international stage, but, you know, they are stuck with us, so we encourage you to keep sticking with us. The girls are continuing to improve. They want to do their best, and I can, sh I can tell you that they will do their best, and I thank you so much for the love and support that you have always given to us. Okay, thank you so much, Janelle Fowler, captain for Jamaica, with the coach, Connie Francis. Thank you so much, and News of the South would like to wish you the best of luck in your games. We will be watching and following, and hopefully we will catch up with you after the games. Okay, thank you. Thank you.